remarkable sheriffs in Florida. It's not like they, they ascend to this podium of being sheriff and never get in the game anymore with the deputies. They are in it. I watched them. They were drawn into law enforcement initially as a young deputy probably, maybe with a, with a local police agency, and that takes a special person to say, I'm going to put on a badge, take an oath, run into danger with all y'all, run out. I mean, it is remarkable to me that we have people sign up for those jobs. Sheriff Cook, would you come up for a moment? There was someone who was causing a lot of concern, was armed with a machete, was scaring the store employees, and this sheriff, there by chance, jumped into action, disarmed the machete from the gentleman, and the next thing you know, there was a picture of her standing over him with him in handcuffs. There was two ladies behind the counter, and there was a, a man facing the counter, and I made eye contact with the two ladies behind the counter, and I could tell um, just based upon their facial expressions that something was making them uncomfortable. I was just trying to take his focus away from them and towards me and he opens up a bag and he's got some stuff in there and he goes, well, I'm selling these things. Started having a conversation with him. And I said, well, what's your name? And he, he puts his hands up in the air and he says, well, am I under arrest? And at that point, his shirt lifted up and I noticed the handle to what appeared to be a large knife in his waistband. So I just sort of grabbed him and grabbed the, the what I thought was a knife, ended up being a machete and, and pulled it out and sort of threw it down. And, I said, you, you just, let's go ahead and put you in handcuffs and uh, spun him around and put him in handcuffs. I think before he even realized uh, what was happening. So put him on the ground and uh, got on the radio and asked for uh, the dispatcher to send me a backup. So I would like to award you, Sheriff Cook, with a Back the Blue Award because I think disarming someone with a machete deserves a Back the Blue Award. Well, I've known uh, Sheriff Cook for many, many years back when she was a patrol officer with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and I was with the Florida Highway Patrol. Uh, watched her rise up through the ranks with the sheriff's office. We've all come in contact uh, occasionally with uh, situations where we have to step up if there's nobody else around and you have to do your job, which is what you were sworn to do. So uh, uh, nothing like a machete that uh, Sheriff Cook had to deal with, but uh, she's a rock star. The average deputy on the street may not know who Attorney General Moody is, but they know that they're supported from the top down. And that, that's, you know, that's her at the top, all the way down to the line level deputy. And you can't put a price tag on that sort of support. We know, I know, and that line level deputy knows that Attorney General Moody has our back.